look though from Skycam and uh, what do you got Beth? What do you, looks what do you pretty see? Good. I mean, there's a lot of clouds, but it's not a down part. I don't think it's raining. What do you see? Okay. okay. Clouds in the, the distance, mountains. I don't know. Yeah. And that's a good description. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we'll go to Todd here in just a little bit. But first, Neil Denton is here. Thoughts on the problem that the rain can cause for folks in, uh, in the houses. Good to see you. Good to see you. Everything good with you? Everything's great. Everything's okay. great. Now, <laughs> what about this extra water? We, well, the extra water is always good. When yeah. we're dry as we've been and the temps have helped because plants are using less water to cool themselves. So we're getting a much better situation and plants are growing well. But when you have moisture, it's going to bring on more of the problems that can occur. Particularly disease, right? Particularly disease. And we're seeing quite a bit of disease in lawns, which is always an issue but we seem to be having a lot more brown patch early, brought on by the high temperatures. And this kind of thing, the cooler temperatures help us, but the rainfall can bring it on more and more. So one of the things that we may be wanting to do in our lawns is to be careful about our cutting height. And for fescues, as we're going into the summer, keep those plants at least three to four inches tall whenever you cut them and that's going to help you because the plant's not going to be near as stressed when we do get into the warmer temperatures which are sure to come later in the season. Talking about the grass. Grass. Well, yes. I was thinking it was eight inches. I told all the neighbors. No. Okay. No, so no, we're good. There. No. I, I need to cut it just a hair. Yeah. Just you're, a hair. you're coming up before the HOA board. Yeah, that's right. Soon. You are. All right. Let's talk. So if you have this brown patch deal, what do, you, what do you do about it? Well, if you have it, there are chemicals that you can buy. There's fungal fungal fungicides that you can buy and put out on the lawn or you can hire somebody to treat the lawn but it can be quite expensive the best thing to do is in the fall do most of your, if you're troubled with it do most of your fertilization for a cool season lawn in the fall not in the spring so you're not causing it to be more susceptible to uh, fungal diseases in the summer also watering is very important timing of watering the lawn Make sure that you're putting the water out early in the morning mm -hmm. um, before even the sun comes up so you don't have the opportunity for that disease to spread more. The wetter the grass is late in the evening, the more chance you have for the disease spreading. Okay. okay. You get that done before the sun, Beth? I got to. I know, I know you do. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. take care of it. How about you? I do not. No. You ought to set your alarm just to be sure. Yeah. You're asking a lot, Neil. I know I am. Especially with this guy. Anything All right. Else? Anything? What about water issues with our homes? Well, one of the things that, that we need to be careful about when we're getting these kind of downpours, like the poor people in Campbell County, I mean, Unreal. how can you just expect that? But even on a smaller scale, when you get those downpours, you can run into small problems around the home that you may not be expecting. And one of the things that can happen, and it happened to me in our last rainfall, I had a bird's nest built in a downspout and didn't realize it. So when the water came, it started pouring into our screened in porch on the corner because the gutter was stopped up. Things like that you need to check on. You know, if you see a bird or an animal, going into a downspout or something, you may want to clear that out because there's a chance they could be building a nest in there because it's going to cause you water problems. And also make sure all your drains away from the foundation is taking the water for the downspouts. Your foundation drains are clean and they're not closed up. So when you have these massive downpours, the water has a place to go. All right, Neil Denton, I'm, I'm thank hoping you. for the bird's sake it was a duck. <laughs> hope the bird was just fine. Yeah, I think it was fine. Thanks, Neil. If you have a question for Neil, you can email us uh, live at 5 at WBIR.com. Just put on the subject line, ask Neil, and wait for a few days for a response. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate Good it. Good to be here. Well,